Not sure what you're gonna wear on your next flight? Today I'm going to share my favorite looks for airplane travel. We'll combine comfort and style to make you look and feel your best on your next trip. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Sew Pomona. I'm Rebecca and I'm so glad you're here. On this channel, I love talking everything fashion and sewing with a focus on travel and capsule wardrobes. Today we're gonna to talk all about creating the perfect look, whether you're going on a weekend getaway or on a long haul flight. Comfort is key, but you don't need to sacrifice style. Bonus, we sew so we can create the perfect look using our favorite fabrics and patterns. Choose your favorite TNT patterns to create your perfect look. The first step to creating your perfect travel day look is choosing comfortable base layers. Now for my trips, I like to start with a knit pant or bottom. Um, I'll choose a comfortable tee or tank top and then start from there with my looks. I like to go with stretchy, relaxed uh, leggings or pants. So on my upcoming trip, I'm planning on bringing um, these nice uh, athletic wear pants that I've made or a pair of joggers. I like to choose a bottom that's going to be super comfortable for sitting in the airplane and something that covers my thighs just so that I'm not uncomfortable sitting in that seat, feeling the seat against my skin. I would also go for, um, I like midi skirts, so I might bring something like this, but I do like to have two pieces, so I probably would not wear a dress. I feel like the fabric just uh, gets in the way a bit. Uh, those kind of skirts are a little more tapered, so I don't feel like they're going to like get caught. Uh, they're not going to get caught on a seat or an armrest or something. I want something that can layer because I want to be able to add warmth if I need it or uh, remove pieces as it gets hot. So I do like um, a lightweight bot, a lightweight tee or tank, and then um, something that fully covers my legs. Layering is essential for creating an outfit that can adapt to changing temperatures. So I often will bring a knit wrap or a cardigan, something lightweight, but that provides enough warmth. Now, if it was winter, I would be wearing, if it's winter, I'm gonna go with a heavier layer than that. But for um, spring and summer travel, just a nice uh, lightweight cardigan. You want something that can easily be layered or removed. I like this wrap jacket, it's really comfortable. I can roll up the sleeves. Um, I can fully cover myself if I want to. And of course, I can also, um, I like something that you can tie around your waist while you're waiting in line. So this is how I would start out my base layer. I wear a simple tank top. I just made these travel pants and they have nice um, deep cell phone pockets or you could put a passport in these, which is why I made them. So I'd start out with this simple layer and then I'm going to add on my top. So our next trip, we are going to New York City, Palm Springs and then LA. So I am going to have quite a few flight days. So I am thinking up multiple outfits for this trip that I can wear on those flight days so that I'm not feeling like I'm wearing the same outfit every day. So this is probably what I would go for for New York. And I do like this wrap because you can also tie it. This is a Suzy Fuhrer. Uh, I made this using Suzy Fuhrer's uh, pattern drafting class uh, where she did a, a self-drafted um, wrap jacket. This one is on my blog and the links will be below. So this is just easy and comfortable. But I could also go with this style wrap jacket which is very comfortable and lightweight. This is paper, this is paper cut patterns, Copelia Cardi. So this gives it a whole different silhouette, um, but still super comfy. But of 
of course, I could switch out this tank top for white or black or any other color and just make it a different outfit. So I can change up the silhouette. Uh, this time I'm wearing a blue track pant. This is a Hudson pant that I modified um, with a white cropped tee. This is more likely the way I'd go just because it keeps it more streamlined because I am going to be wearing the jacket to go over top. Switch it up and wear a skirt. I also like to choose something that I can tie around my waist or just over my shoulders if it's not very hot. You can, um, as always, head over to my blog, So Pomona, if you want any more information. Um, I'm going to do a full blog post on everything I'm covering in today's video, so you'll find all the links and everything there. While you're there, you can also get my free handmade travel wardrobe planner that'll help you plan any trip uh, and create that perfect capsule handmade wardrobe. Now, a lot of my pieces are self-drafted. Um, most of the pieces here are, other than um, a few. I have this Berta skirt that I'm showing today. And um, I have a few Zoe tank tops here, but most of these pieces I've drafted my myself. So I gathered, um, so I gathered up a little compilation of great patterns that I think would make fantastic outfits for travel. I'm gonna go through that list now and all these links will also be in that blog post. For me, the first step to creating the perfect travel day outfit is to start with a comfortable base layer. I look for soft, breathable fabrics like Cotton Modell or Bamboo Jersey for my tops and cozy and comfy knits for bottoms. You can go with a loose fitting, lightweight top that allows for easy movement or, my, or wear my favorite, a simple tank top. Pair it with stretchy, relaxed fit pants or leggings that provide maximum comfort during those long hours in transit. I suggest something to fully cover your legs, but not so long that it touches the floor. Layering is essential for creating an outfit that adapts to changing temperatures on the flight. I usually go for a cozy jacket or cardigan, but an oversized wrap or sweater is also a great choice. Something that can be easily removed or added depending on the cabin temperature. Layering allows you to adjust your outfit accordingly and provides both warmth and versatility throughout the journey. For a skirt or dress, a knit midi is my preference for air travel. It covers my thighs when I'm seated and it's still warm enough if it gets chilly in the airplane, which it always does. And I know I'm sticking to solids, but of course you can wear your favorite prints and patterns. You go with whatever your style is. It's the best part about sewing. You can make what you love. Next thing you're gonna to have to decide on is what shoes you're wearing. Now for my next trip, I want something that's stylish and practical. Now, for my next trip, I'm going to be wearing my Hoka's. I like a nice trainer. I think they're super comfortable, and I do like to wear my heaviest shoe on the airplane. I just think it makes travel that much easier. But you could also, but my other suggestion would be to wear a kind of slip-on shoe you have. It does make going through the TSA line, if you don't have pre-check, go much faster. They still look nice, and it's still a nice clean look with any of these outfits. Choose a pair that complements your outfit and suits your personal style. For me, comfort is key, but wear what you love. So accessories add that final touch to any look. Now, I tend to go really light on accessories. I might wear a simple earring, but I might wear a simple earring, but that's pretty much it other than my wedding band. So what I go for are nice bags. So um, whether you're checking your luggage or you're doing carry-on only, you still have your personal item. I like a backpack. I just feel like it's really comfortable to wear in the airport and um, I can fit it under the seat in front of me. So I have a few. This one's a Patagonia tote. And this one will be going on my next trip. And um, 
I do like this one because these straps do go pretty flat, but they're also convertible so that you can make them longer. And it also has this carrying case, so I can just hold it, I can just grab it really quickly without putting it on my back. Um, I like to have something, uh, especially if you're bringing a laptop on your trip. I do, both of mine have lap, separate laptop sleeves. This one has a built-in one. This one has a Agonia bag, has a separate laptop sleeve that goes inside, which is great for when you're um, in the TSA line and you need to pull out your laptop because it does pull right out. But I find this one is pretty easy to use as well. And it does fit, um, does fit a pretty large laptop. And then this one has a bunch of pockets, which I love. So if I'm traveling solo, I will bring a backpack, but if I'm traveling with my family, I tend to bring a tote, a bigger duffel, because I usually am bringing an extra change of clothes or something for the rest of my family. So I do need that larger bag. And sometimes what's great is I can just pack this in my suitcase as an extra bag in case I need some more room on the way back from a trip. This one I do like because it has that trolley sleeve for my suitcase. And if I'm checking luggage and I am bringing my handmade wardrobe everywhere, I will often pack my favorite outfit as a spare outfit in, my, in a compression cube with a change of underwear or a swimsuit. And um, that will go in my personal bag if I'm checking. I also have my bag with all my electronic gear. So this has all my cords my headphones, um, my charging block, my, my Belkin charging block, um, my mouse, all the kind of gear I'm going to need on my trip. And if you'd like a more uh, in-depth video on that, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do one. So I like to bring a few things. I'll bring some makeup wipes so I can refresh on the plane if I'm doing longer flight. I'll bring chapstick. One thing I do like to treat myself to is I'll bring some, uh, I'll bring some under eye patches, just make me feel my best right before I get off the plane. Um, bring mints or gum, those kind of simple things. I, um, I wear glasses, uh, but they're for distance, so I don't use them much on the channel, but I do need them for driving and uh, going on walks. So I will bring, I like to bring a double case that can fit my sunglasses and my glasses in here. And then I will pack, I always pack a spare pair in my checked luggage. I'm old school, I like to bring a few books with me. I will make sure to have at least one book. I'll make sure I have at least one book in my personal bag and then one or two packed. And then um, I had a foot injury, so I'm always cautious about bringing my compression socks. Um, I like these little Comrade ones. They're really comfortable. And they don't look too ridiculous. I like these ones. And my uh, simple little RAFD wallet. And then sometimes I will pack, um, if I know I'm not gonna have time when we arrive to, um, to change my outfit or anything, I will also bring a nicer purse so that I can uh, just put this with my luggage and have a nicer look for my handbag. And I do like to bring something small when I'm traveling so that I'm not dealing with bulky bags. I already have so many other bags to carry around. Traveling in the winter, consider bringing a cozy scarf or a wrap that can double as a blanket. I always suggest wearing your heaviest pieces on the plane um, especially if it's winter and you need to bring a heavy coat or a jacket. On a beach vacay, I like to put a bag and I will often just hook this to the outside of my bag um, on one of my straps or stick it in one of my pockets. Um, I like a nice foldable beach hat for that reason. Going to an Airbnb where you might not have towels, I suggest a Turkish towel or a lightweight um, yoga towel that can double as a beach towel. And if you're cold on the plane, you can use that to warm up. A cute pair of sunglasses and you're all set for the beach. I hope you found this video helpful. What's your favorite thing to bring on the airplane? Do you have a tried and true pattern that you make every time? Let me know below in the comments.
Until next time, safe travels and happy sewing.